good, everybody, and happy holidays. Check it out. You done already seen the thumbnail. You done read that title, and you know what I'm doing, right? Look, I'm finna do the lima beans, butter beans, whatever name you guys call them. That's what we're doing. And guess what we're doing them for? Soul Food Sunday. Let's get it. Okay, look, so we just flew over some of these ingredients, right? Now I want you guys to take a look at down here again. Listen, don't let the lack of ingredients make you think that this is not gonna be fire, right? You see I done already soaked, look, we had a pre-thought, it's the holidays, you know what I mean? So listen, when we put this out, especially for Soul Food Sunday, that we had a little uh, forethought, right? So we soaked them. You can always hot flash them. I'll leave that down in the description box below to tell you how to hot flash, right? So come on over here and let's look at these better than bouillon. Look, we got turkey and we got chicken, right? You can use these, you know what I mean, along with water. It depends on whatever type of flavor profile you have. But for me, I went ahead and used, boom. Check that out right there, that's that chicken stock. All of this works, folks. Now, Granny gonna be mad at me, you know what I mean? Cause listen, all you guys probably don't, never really, if it wasn't passed down to you, you like, hey Granny, when you gonna make them beans again? Hey, all the grandmas out there, don't trip. I'm sorry, I'm letting the cat out the bag and we simplifying these recipes. Hey, so let's get it. All right, so look, this is what we're gonna do. As you can see, I call this my tool of choice. This is my protein. I'm gonna go ahead and do, go with the smoked turkey, right? I just went ahead and turned on my induction top so that'll get hot. Right here, I got four cups of chicken stock. We're gonna go ahead and add this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my smoked turkey drum. Look at this right here. Now, the reason I'm doing that, listen, for those of you guys that do a ham shank, or something like that, you can go ahead and just get it boiling just for a minute, but I'm gonna give this a 30 minute head start to just start to soften this up a little bit because we want to go ahead and get this to shred. And then we'll go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients, right? But this is what you want to do. Go ahead, bring this up to a boil. Once I get it up to a boil, I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. And then we'll add our other four cups. You know what I mean? Each one of these right here are four cups a piece. It takes either four, I mean, it takes either between eight and nine, you know, cups you know, to get everything completely submerged, you know? But we'll decide if we're gonna add a little bit extra chicken stock after we get everything inside, right? So now we go ahead and put in our chicken, I mean, excuse me, go ahead and put in our turkey leg. And don't forget that smoke, folks. There's a whole lot of flavor right here. Now we're gonna let it come up to a boil. Soon as it comes up to the boil, I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer for 30 minutes and just give this a little bit of a head start, start to start to soften up. Okay, so look, we're gonna come here this has been boiling for 30 minutes, right? Get all that condensation off, right? I got it on a medium. Turn it down to medium low right now. Now, we're gonna look at these beans. I'm gonna go ahead and drain these right now and give them a rinse, and then we're gonna go ahead and add them. Now, don't forget, we got the smoked flavor and the smoked turkey flavor. That's all inside the chicken stock. We use 33% less sodium. All of that's right. Listen, I'm doing it that way, look, because we always want to watch our sodium intake, right? Listen, if somebody need to kick it up, you know, in bowl, let them do it. You know, if they need to hit it with a little salt. So let me go ahead and drain these, get these rinsed, and then we're just going to add those inside. Just a couple of pinches of black pe uh, pepper. And we're just going to work this in here, just like this. You can see it's already starting to soften up. But we finna cook it down, folks. Now we'll just go ahead and add our beans into this right here so they can absorb this flavor. And this, these get nice and soft. Look, it could take just a little extra, you know, chicken stock, but everything seems to be, you know, completely submerged. This is good right here. So what I wanna do is bring this back up to a boil. As soon as it starts to boil, I'ma simmer it. Set it for a simmer. We gonna go for about an hour, hour and a half. But here's the thing, we gonna keep looking at it. So I'ma say set a timer. Just about every 20, 25 minutes, you wanna come give it a stir. You know what I mean, to check on it, right? So let's get it back up to uh, a boil and I'll see you in just one second. Okay, so come on in here and take a look at this right here. Look, it had already started to boil. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it down on my medium low because we want to do a little simmer. That's what we're looking for, right? So I'm gonna put this lid on and I'm gonna set myself a timer, right? My overall timer is gonna be for an hour and a half and I'm gonna set a different timer and it's gonna be for every 25 minutes. Why? Because I wanna come and stir it, make sure my beans not cooking, you know, burning on the bottom and nothing like that. Hey, so I tell you what, I'll show you what it looks like after tw you know, my first 25 minutes. Okay, so whew, it then went up a little bit higher than I would like, you know what I mean? Because we wanna do a simmer, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this down just a little bit, just one notch. And now this will be the first time I stir. You know what I mean? Look at this right here. 
Oh man, you can see the flavor. Ooh -wee. And then look at this right here. Oh, he loosening up, folks. We got a long ways to go. But this is one of them things, you just let it simmer and cook and quit looking at it, you know? So look, instead of 25 minutes, I'm gonna go 30. You know what I mean? And then we go from there. Okay, so look, I want you guys to take a look at this. Look, I didn't go back to showing you guys like another 30 minutes because it looked just the same, right? I still hadn't done no venting, but it's been steaming on the side of this, right? So look, we're gonna take it off. We're gonna take a look. Look at that right there. This is what you want. You can look at the, oh, look at this right here. Look at the liquid. I call this that pot liquor too. Look at how big these are, they done swole up. You know what I mean? Now look, if I just take this and just tap it a couple of times, look, this is ready. You see it fall off the bone ready. Now, I'm gonna leave it off. I'm gonna leave it right here where it's simmering and I'm gonna cook it down to my desired thickness, right? If you guys go ahead and give it a little tumble like I'm doing right here, it kind of like breaks them up a little bit and releases some of the bean inside of the juice, right? And it helps sticking it also. But right now we just finna do like this. I'm gonna leave it alone and we finna just let it cook down for probably about another 10 to 15 minutes. And then we gonna go ahead and remove this skin. Make sure we keep all of the meat that's connected to the skin. We gonna get all of that in there. And then we finna put it in a bowl and we finna eat folks. This is only at, look, I looked at the time. This is 11 minutes later. Check it out right here. You see how thick it's gotten? All you gotta do is remove that top and cook it down. So don't let that, you know, get you upset if you feel like, man, it's too much liquid. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start fishing this out. You know what I mean? But we gonna get all of this off because we want all of that in our beans, right? So there's no way I can show you how to do it. You just do it what's best for you. But the main thing is you wanna get rid of the skin. Okay, so look, after all that moving it around slow, using the ladle and all of that, tell me that right there don't look like it's fire. And listen, I know I told you you started off saying about like some of the grandmas out there gonna be mad because I'm gonna expose them. Not for real. And when I say that kind of stuff, I'm just saying sometimes we think a whole lot was going on in there. And you know, lately I've been telling you guys sometimes simple works. Look, simple ingredients, you know what I mean? Uh, we're not trying to like overdo it or nothing like that. And it comes out perfect, right? And this right here is it. Before I take this bite, I'm gonna tell you some things that you can do to like level it up. I could have cut myself down an onion. You know, I probably would have like quartered it or maybe did it like maybe in the uh, like one eighth size of a medium onion, right? Got those, sauteed those down a little bit and then cooked them along with it. Man, there's so many things you can do, but this right here is Soul Food 101. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give me some of this right here and quit running my mouth. Mm -hmm. Hey, you wanna know that it's thick enough? Look at that right there, folks. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I know I'm tripping because I'm always smiling. I'm like a little kid in the kitchen, you know what I mean? Uh, but all that being said, cheers. You ever made some food and you want to look at it side eye? No, <laughs> hold on. Truly, this is fire. Let's think about the ingredients we use, right? We had chicken stock. You know what I mean? That was at least, at least it was 33% less sodium, right? We had the beans, you know, then we put a smoked turkey leg in there. I'm not gonna say it was like totally, this is a totally healthy meal, but this right here, you can see what you're putting in, you know what I mean? And then what you're putting into your body. But the flavor right here, say that this is a foul. It's just that good. Now, check this out. If you wanna check these type of recipes out, you guys can go to my website. If you want a printable recipe, that's smoking and grilling with ab.com. Go to the recipe tab, find what you're looking for, and then check it out. You can, you know, go ahead and give it a print. Now, I want you guys to check out, this is what I'm bringing for Soul Food Sunday this week. This is my entry, right? And don't forget to go by and check out Kamara's Kitchen, Soul Food Cooking, and Cooking with CJ and see what they bring into the table also. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace. Peace.